Here's the situation. You've got an old PC and you're deciding what to upgrade first. Do you wanna upgrade your CPU or your GPU? This is a common question that often tends to be difficult for gamers to answer. As software games and applications improve over time, they introduce improved new features that would mostly call for a CPU or GPU upgrade. In this video, we're gonna be letting you know how to identify when your gaming rig requires a GPU or CPU upgrade and which you should upgrade first. CPU stands for Central Processing Unit. One of the key functions of a processor is to control the other components in your setup in a way that creates a link amongst them. The CPU is one of the most significant components of your gaming system, which is why it's sometimes referred to as the brain of the computer. Whenever you send a command to your computer, the processor coordinates the action and sends it to the appropriate hardware. One more thing about CPUs are its cores. Gone are the days when processors had only one core. Recent CPU generations now sport multiple cores, each of which focuses on a unique task. Therefore, multi-core processor is a single chip that contains two or more cores. The number of cores in a processor is crucial because those with more cores are more efficient than those with fewer. Now, moving on to GPUs, they're also made up of a collection of millions of transistors, just like CPUs. They are specifically intended to boost graphic performance. Graphics cards are used in game consoles, personal computers, workstations, mobile devices, and embedded systems. Modern GPUs are excellent at processing images and manipulating 3D visuals. One major difference between GPUs and CPUs are what they handle. The graphics card of your gaming setup is designed to fulfill only specific requirements, which is to improve the quality of graphical content. The processor, on the other hand, is in charge of the overall performance of your computer. The video card is also a very crucial part of the gaming system. Believe it or not, the GPU is even more important than the CPU when it comes to playing specific kinds of games on many occasions. Why should you upgrade? The majority of today's fast-paced video games place a tremendous burden on the GPU's rendering capabilities. Nevertheless, many games are made to benefit from the additional cores and threads that the recent generation of CPUs also provide. Also, some games benefit from having more cores because they make greater use of them. Others might not, as they are designed to just use a single core. Either way, faster CPUs make games run more smoothly as there will be enough power for their rendition to prevent being sluggish. Let's not forget that even GPUs are frequently put to a lot of work in today's games, if not more than the CPU. It's important that graphics cards are powerful and quick in order to process 2D and 3D graphics, render polygons, map textures, and other tasks. You can be sure to receive more frames per second depending on how quickly your video card can handle instructions. In an ideal situation, you would obviously just upgrade both at the same time to the maximum capability. Sadly, financial limitations might force us to choose between one of the two, at least temporarily. In fact, choosing the premium options for either the CPU or the GPU may, may, may make even more sense if you're an ardent gamer who looks towards the future and wanna make sure you run the most resource intense AAA games to come. However, this can only happen if you can afford the exorbitantly high prices. A new CPU will either have a large increase in clock speed, or cores, or both, most especially if your current one is more than a few years old. A CPU's clock speed is expressed in gigahertz, and it indicates how many instructions it can process per second. A CPU can process instructions more quickly with a higher clock speed, which directly translates to a sharper and more fluid user experience. Likewise, if your GPU is getting on in age, replacing it with a new one will enhance your gaming experience in almost every way. A more recent, powerful GPU will have more VRAM, be able to render graphics that are noticeably more detailed than your older one, and be able to run games at a much higher frame rate thanks to the added power. In essence, a modern GPU will help you finish your task more quickly if you work with anything that needs to be developed or rendered. So when should you upgrade your CPU? One first sign to look out for to know when your CPU requires an upgrade is when you start experiencing a sluggish performance or an inability to overclock. Overclocking a processor refers to increasing the clock rate or speed at which a CPU works. Your CPU can be overclocked to increase its base speed, which in turn boosts the overall clock rate. If you, however, discover that you're unable to overclock a CPU because it's locked to the default clock speed set by its manufacturer, then your processor is calling for a change. This is because you cannot increase the performance of an outdated CPU that is also locked. Then, you should also be wary of when you find out that your CPU cannot keep up with modern software. 
The new CPUs have unique features like automated boost for a certain amount of time, decreased power consumption, and a systemic way to handle various workloads. Upgrading your CPU would be preferable if you feel these functions are missing from your existing one. On to the GPU. When should you upgrade it? You'll know it's time to get a new GPU when you notice that your CPU is constantly overheating. The processor takes over when your GPU is operating below its maximum potential, which in turn lessens its performance, resulting in your CPU overworking and it overheats to meet up with your gaming demands. Constant frame drops are another indication that your GPU may need an upgrade. You may start experiencing unexpected frame skipping when playing a game or rendering a video if your CPU is effective, but your graphics card is not producing the utmost results. You should also consider the lifespan of your graphics card. Modern GPUs have a lifespan of about four to five years on average. Future games with high graphics and video rendering would be difficult for your GPU to handle if it's older than four or five years. So what should be upgraded first? One thing you should bear in mind before making the decision to replace your CPU or GPU is their bottleneck. A bottleneck happens when one component limits the performance of another component. Therefore, when a processor or graphics card bottlenecks, one of them uses all of its processing power to handle the application, while the other one finds it difficult to handle that much power. A good example is the pairing of an AMD 5th generation processor paired with a GTX 1080 Ti graphics card, which causes a CPU bottleneck, or an Intel Core i7-8700K processor with a GT1030 graphics card that results, results in a GPU bottleneck. Identifying which of your current PC components is bottlenecking is one of the best ways to know which to upgrade first. You can safely conclude that you need a new GPU if you find out that your current one can't render the graphics of your game at the settings you desire. On the other hand, if your GPU renders games flawlessly and yet the game continues to lag when there's a lot going on, then it's likely your CPU is what requires the change. You can also determine which of the hardware should be your top priority when you play games that allows you to access the current CPU and GPU usage. You can literally just look at it there. Even though these methods can give you an idea of which component to upgrade, bear in mind they do not provide a final verdict. This comes as a result of different games using these hardware in distinct capacities, so data from just one game is not going to be sufficient. Nevertheless, it all still comes down to your gaming requirements and budget as these will determine which component you would upgrade first. You can change either one of them if gaming or video rendering are your top priorities. However, if you don't require intensive graphical activities, you should first improve the CPU. At the same time, it'd be a good idea to set aside some money for your CPU if you have a tighter budget. This is because lower frame rates per second may result in a poor gameplay if you overspend on your GPU without paying attention to the CPU. On a final note, never forget to consider the compatibility of your components when upgrading either your CPU or your GPU. You need to make sure that they all work together with whatever motherboard you have. So hopefully that helps you out if you're trying to decide which component to upgrade first. Also, if you are currently building a PC, make sure to watch this video here on five mistakes to absolutely avoid when building. Trust me, you don't want to mess these things up. Thanks for watching, guys, and we'll catch you on the next video.